Welcome to uploading videos to YouTube. Um, it's actually quite a straightforward process, but I know for many of there, there's always those those little questions that get in the way. So I thought I'd create a little video on how to do this. The first thing you want to do is head over to YouTube, and uh, just as a preface, YouTube is one of um, over dozens of video sharing sites it just happens to be the most popular and uh, I've actually done a, a bit of research in terms of quality in terms of playback and it, it actually does rank up quite high there are other uh, video sharing sites that have a little better video quality but they tend to be t uh, take a little longer to load and um, and and other have some perhaps have some other issues around embedding that content into other into your web page or blog so YouTube really is um, not only very, very popular, the most popular video sharing site, but it's probably in many ways uh, one of the better ones in terms of ease of use. So the first thing you need to do, if you haven't already, is create an account. And I'm not going to go through that process because that's very straightforward. If you've ever created an account on any other website, it's just the same. But I do have an account, so I'm going to log into my account. As soon as I, I've logged in, it takes me back basically to the index page, but now, of course, recognizes that, I'm, that I've logged in. And so you'll see at the top, uh, I could I could go to my account and find out the videos I've uploaded, the videos I've viewed, the videos I've saved as favorites, and so forth. But I'm just going to go right here to this little icon that says Upload Videos. Now you'll see before I get into this part of it, you're going to see some things on the right-hand side here that's that's actually quite interesting. You can actually record directly from a webcam. You can click that, or even from your mobile phone. I've never used the mobile phone. Um, uploading feature but I have used the the webcam feature and it's quite slick you just record and it's already uploaded for you it uploads it automatically so if you're doing something like that um, very easy to do but I think for most of us uh, the idea of recording off a webcam is, is strictly talking head so we'd like to take video that we have put some time and effort into editing or capture something really exciting and uh, and upload it so the process is you begin with a title and I have a title called I'm going to upload a video of a project that I've uh, been associated with so I'll type the title here write a short description Uh, then I simply select a category, and to be honest, I'm not wild about the categories that they give. I often just choose, uh, uh, I don't know, people and blogs or, you know, gadgets and games. They're just not, the, I don't think, the greatest categories. But anyways, I'll choose, uh, like, obviously I wish there was one on education, but there isn't. So I'll just choose this one for now because we're worrying the gadgets. Choose your language and continue uploading. So the second page here is where you actually browse for your file, and I'll do that. So again, the assumption is made here that you do have a video on your hard drive that you've saved and you are now able to upload. Now there are obviously you see a couple of restrictions here. The maximum file size is 100 megs and the length is 10 minutes. I do have a director's account which allows me longer videos than that, but you know, generally speaking, uh, for educational use, if you're running over the 10-minute mark, it's 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 questionable, anyways, whether it's going to be something that's viewed in this format. So, um, uh, then of course you're going to decide whether this is going to be a public or a private. By default, it's always public, but you can uh, choose to have uh, private viewings and then simply email uh, people to access it. The trick here is that by um, designating a video private they will not be able to access it even if you choose family and friends to access it unless they have an account so you know how that works sometimes people aren't that excited about creating an account and so I'm not sure how great the private viewing feature works I have used it though for on an occasion you know in very specific instances and then simply click upload video now this will take a while as you can see um, sometimes there is an issue because I think it's a flash based uh, uploader here and so there's a little there's a little icon that says here and I have used this from time to time if you're having troubles uploading your video click here and they just give you a, a different window to uh, upload right now that your video has been uploaded 
um, you can now um, make some changes to it and you can see all of the information that we filled in previously is there uh, and again you can edit it change it whatever you want to do uh, I've added in here uh, the recording date again this is not Again, you can see it's all optional, this kind of stuff here as well. So I just filled that in. There's the actual URL of your video that you would use to email other people. And there's a share feature here that you can send it out directly from within YouTube. Let people know you've created a video. Again, revisit the idea of public or private. And the comments and the ratings and all this kind of stuff. Again, you can you can make your choices and make, see what see what fits you best. And uh, this is really important because this is the actual HTML code that you would just copy and paste into your blog, into your website, so that it shows up on your website. And you can do that with your videos or other people's videos if they've <coughs> allowed that sharing feature. And that is a really powerful um, aspect of YouTube and many of the video sharing sites is that they allow you to embed that content on your own page. And when you've done that, you simply click Update Video Info and uh, it just revisits this page tells you that it's been updated when you click on all of your videos it will tell you in this case that this is has been uploaded but it's still being processed so it's not quite ready it's not quite live yet there's not an image there as you see on my other videos all uh, have taken a poster frame from the actual videos to um, to indicate that it is live and ready to go uh, this will take anywhere from oh five minutes to perhaps um, uh, let's say as, ma as much as an hour, but usually it's not that long, and then your video is ready to go. So that's basically it. So um, that's a little tutorial on uploading videos to YouTube. So um, there you go, Miguel. Bye now.